Well, Intelligent celebrating two years uh, of being open and this week, in fact just yesterday, hosted a graduation ceremony uh, for the th second and third cohorts of its executive programme. A programme uh, and a facility that has garnered huge praise the world over. In fact, in, within just two years, the uh, MBZUAI uh, has risen into the top 25 institutions uh, globally in AI. An extraordinary achievement. And one I'm sure that our next guest will be very proud, the acting provost uh, of the Mohammed bin Zayed University of Artificial Intelligence in Abu Dhabi is Professor Tim Baldwin, who joins us from Abu Dhabi this morning. Professor Baldwin, thanks for your time this morning. Pleasure. Wonderful to be here. Uh, congratulations to you uh, and all the faculty down there uh, at uh, the uh, MBZUAI. You must be um, um, obviously very proud uh, of the graduation ceremony, not just yesterday, but over the course of the last two years, but also international recognition to see you rise through the ranks of uh, institutions of learning for AI. Indeed. Uh, it's been a, a, a roller coaster. We're very proud of where we've got to. Uh, um, it's just the, the beginning for us, uh, honestly. So we've uh, established departments in uh, the three core areas of uh, computer vision, which is uh, images, videos, uh, natural language processing, which is my field, which is anything to do with text and speech and uh, machine learning, which is uh, all the rest, uh, you know, financial data, time series data, things like that. Um, we're starting another four departments uh, this year, robotics, uh, statistics uh, amongst them, uh, computer science. Um, so, yes, uh, very excited about the, the journey ahead. Um, obviously, we know the importance uh, of AI learning, not just here in the UAE, but to the world at the moment to address some of the AI talent shortages out there. Um, what, in terms of the competition, and again, a lot being made of the fact that you've risen to the top 25 institutions globally uh, for AI, um, what is it that sets the MBZU AI apart from dare I say, the competition? Uh, it's a lot of things. Um, so it, it's the fact that we're a university which specialises on just uh, AI, uh, um, unlike most universities where AI is uh, you know, kind of hidden amongst the, the myriad of uh, activities. Uh, so the, the, the critical density uh, that we have uh, in AI um, you know, means that I can walk down the, the corridor and have uh, you know, specialists in you know, literally every area, uh, and not just specialists, but world leaders uh, in every areas. Um, it also uh, being located specifically in Abu Dhabi uh, and the UAE uh, area, with you know the very ambitious, of course, uh, AI 2031, uh, AI national strategy, being able to to feed into that, including through the uh, MBZ UAI executive program, uh, is a a, a truly uh, unique opportunity, very, very exciting to be part of. Uh, Professor Tim, to play devil's advocate, given that Silicon Valley um, loves a university dropout, what is the argument for studying something like AI, for spending several years in an institution um, studying a fast-moving technology? How do we make sure that what you learn on the, in the studies isn't out of date by the time you're in the workforce? Uh, well, uh, I mean, Silicon Valley likes to uh, make a big fuss about the, you know, the, the exceptional people, the, the, the dropouts, uh, as you uh, name them, but uh, by having you know, world leaders, people who are um, not just specialists in these areas, but uh, you know, the, the inventors uh, of these areas, uh, means that by definition our, our students are working with the, the, the people who are leading the field. Uh, so through that, they're, they're guaranteed to have uh, the skills and yeah, you know, it, it's one thing to be a, a, a dropout from a you know, a Harvard uh, business school like a, a, a certain Microsoft uh, executive, uh, but you know, for our students uh, um, who are from around the world, yeah, you know, they don't necessarily have those opportunities. So there's there's substantial up, uplift in them, them being able to to come to us, uh, and through us being able to stay in the region and contribute to specifically some of uh, Abu Dhabi and UAE's targets. Let's look at the executive programme. I mentioned the, uh, the graduation ceremony uh, this week for the second and third cohorts. The number that really jumped off the page for me, uh, Tim, was, of course, that of the 85 graduates, the majority of the, them were UAE nationals, which uh, obviously suggests that uh, we are in a good place when it comes to AI moving forward. 
Absolutely. Uh, I mean, we have uh, um, a, a real mix from different industry sectors uh, and government. Uh, um, you know, uh, the number of people we've had coming through, so we're at 120 and counting, we're about to start our fourth cohort next week, uh, um, just means that you have leaders of the country, business leaders, government leaders, uh, who have been working alongside us and, and have that AI fluency, uh, AI literacy to, to drive uh, the country. Uh, you just don't have that anywhere else in the, the world. Uh, and particularly the, the mix of, of different areas, uh, we often get the, um, the comment from our um, MBZ UAI MEP students that coming together, working in teams, uh, working alongside, you know, just the, the caliber of the, the faculty that we have to come and teach into the program it is just, it, it's completely uh, unparalleled anywhere in the world. Uh, so, you know, just that confluence uh, of, of different effects within the program uh, you know, means that it's it's uh, we, we like to talk about unique opportunities, mm. but yeah, this is just truly, truly uh, unparalleled. It's very exciting to be part of. Well, congratulations, uh, Professor Tim Baldwin and all the team down there at the Mohammed bin Zayed University of Artificial Intelligence. Obviously, it's going to be a big year for MBZ UAI uh, this year, as it is for the whole of the UAE COP28. At the end of it, obviously, sustainability and AI going on hand in hand at the moment. Chat GBT doing the rounds as well. Uh, and good to see that the institution, the organisation, uh, has garnered uh, the respect of uh, um, uh, the international audience as well. That was Professor Tim Baldwin, who is the acting provost uh, at the MBZ UAI in Abu Dhabi, joining us live on the line from the nation's capital. We're not just on the radio. Listen to Dubai Eye 103.8 on the ARN Play.